In a dystopian sci-fi vision of the future, humans are often microchipped so they can be controlled to do everything from housework to committing crime. And today this futuristic vision became a reality during an event at IFA in Berlin. A volunteer attending security firm Kaspersky's conference had a chip implanted into his hand that could potentially unlock his phone. It is the latest in a growing movement called biohacking in which people implant chips into their bodies to perform simple tasks they would typically use their phone or smartwatch to do. Marcus Bruce, director of Kaspersky's global research team in Europe, said, the next logical step is not to stop at wearables such as smartwatches, but go under the skin to enable more functionalities. At the event, a Kaspersky employee had a chip the size of a grain of rice encased in glass inserted into his hand. A professional piercer loaded it into a needle and pushed it into the skin between the man's thumb and forefinger, where he explained it will move around for the first week or so and leave some bruising. Such chips can be bought online for under $100, $152, and intrepid users can even insert them themselves using a sizable needle that comes with the kit, although this is not encouraged. At the moment, the chip, which uses RFID technology, has been shown to be used to perform simple actions such as opening a door or unlocking a phone. At the moment, it's quite limited, Mr. Pruce admitted. But in the future, users may be able to wave their hand in front of a pay terminal to buy goods in shops, or swipe a reader to ride a train, for example. It may also become possible to use such a chip to unlock a front door, or start a car. Speaking as part of a panel of experts, Swedish biohacker Hans Schablid, who established Bionifican, a biohacking community, believes that in the future chips could also be used as health logging implants to track the pulse and body temperature and encrypt personal data.